Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide showing an example of a giant cell tumour of the bone. We can actually see that this is the outline of the bone with the periosteum, the cortical bone, and a little bit of the cancellous bone here. It is otherwise largely replaced by tumour. You can again see a little bit of the periosteum on this other end. And you'll notice that this tumour has a very large uh, area of cystic change with haemorrhage, and this is very common in giant cell tumours of the bone. Let's take a closer look at this tumour. And in this region, as I move into slightly higher magnification, we can just about make out that there are these kind of bluish, much larger cells and I'm going to increase the magnification so you can see that there are these larger cells which are actually multinucleated cells and in between there are many 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 cells that have a single nucleus or otherwise known as mononuclear cells. Let's take a look at the two cell types one by one. So starting off looking at the multinucleated cells we can see one here and another one here and there are really, really many of them. These multinucleated giant cells uh, appear very similar to osteoclasts, so they are known as osteoclast-like or osteoclast-type multinucleated giant cells. Indeed, they have many nuclei within the cells, and in some of these tumours, they may actually have more than 100 nuclei within these osteoclast-like cells. However, these are not the neoplastic cellular components of giant cell tumours. The neoplastic cell components are these intervening mononuclear cells and these cells have quite oval, relatively uniform nuclei and some of them have small but prominent nucleoli um, and they quite uh, closely resemble each other. There is not much pleomorphism in this particular example and we can see them in between the multinucleated non-neoplastic cells. Giant cell tumours are most of the time benign. However, if we see features such as spindling of the cells, abnormal mitosis or cellular pleomorphism, then we start to worry about the possibility of a malignant giant cell tumour. This particular case looks like a benign giant cell tumour. And very often we actually see cystic change as well as haemorrhage as a part of this tumour. So because these tumours occur right up in the epiphysis, very close to the joint surfaces, sometimes they can also extend to the metaphysis of long bones. Because of the location close to the articular surfaces, they may actually present clinically with arthritis-like symptoms, and they can present also with pain and sometimes pathological fracture. So in summary, this is a giant cell tumour of the bone comprising numerous osteoclast-like giant cells containing many nuclei and also the neoplastic component which is this mononuclear cells in between the osteoclastic giant cells. In this particular tumour we don't see any features that are worrying for malignancy. Thank you.